everybody. Thanks for coming to the adult craft this week. Uh, we are making trivets today out of clothespins. Uh, so these are good, or pot holders. Um, so they're good for, um, you could either put cups on them or pot pans, anything like that. So they're really practical and they're really easy to make and I think they look really nice. So they can also be, if you wanted to make it like a wall hanging, I actually like them a lot. So anything you want to do with these, um, but you only need really two things for this one. So I'll show you what we need and let's get started. Alright, so for this one you just need about 30 to 35 clothespins, um, just regular clothespins. You can paint them if you want or you can paint it after you're done. Um, but I like the wood look, so I like to leave them. Uh, and you also need a hot glue gun and some hot glue sticks to keep them all together. You can also use wood glue if you want. Uh, that would work as well. just takes a little bit longer to dry. And um, your first step in this one is you're actually going to peel apart your clothespins. So you want three separate pieces. You're going to end up with the two pieces and then your metal piece. So this one you're actually not going to use for this craft. So you just put those aside. But your first step is just going to be to peel all of these and set them aside because this is what we want to use. We don't want the metal in there. So you just kind of pull them like this and then if you twist it, it comes off. So be careful, don't get pinched in here. But you just kind of twist them around and they'll come loose. So just kind of pull it, separate so it's not against each other again, and then kind of twist it out. So just mess around with them until that comes off. And do that for all, at least 30 to start with. Um, you might need a few more, but you can start with 30 if you want. Alright, so when you get all those done, you just can put your metal pieces to one side and then you just have a big pile of uh, your individual sides of the clothespins. So once you have those, there's actually two ways to do this one. So one way is you take them and put them against each other like this. So you're creating one thin end and one long end and you're creating this kind of shape. Uh, another way to do it is to just keep them the same direction, like this, and you do it all the way around. So what you want to do, and I'm going to do it this way first, and then I'll show you the other way. What you want to do is you just place them next to each other, and you're going to glue them along as you go. So they go like this, you just place them that same direction so they're all facing that way. And the flat part is towards the right side in mine. Um, or towards the left. It doesn't matter as long as it's the same way. And you actually just do that all the way around. Alright, so once you got all those put together, this is how it turns out. So the way I did mine, I didn't glue it because I want to show you guys the other way. But this is the way it turns out if you do them all facing that same direction. So this one, they all have the flat side on one side, and on the opposite side is the bumpy side. So I've got my right side is the flat side all the way around. So this is how it turns out. So if you like this style better, um, glue it this way, or if you like the other style better, you can do the other way, or if you happen to have about 60 to 70 um, 
clothespins, then you can do it both ways. I like it both ways a lot, but I just wanted to be able to show you guys both ways and you can choose for yourself which way you like best. So if you are gluing it, just glue this part right here. So you've got these together, you just glue this part where they touch naturally. So when you pull them together on the bottom like this, this is where you want to glue, right on this bottom part. And then they're just naturally going to come together. You don't have to force it at all. You just put them together, keep them the same at the base, and just glue right where they kind of naturally pinch together. And you just do that all the way around. Keep gluing and gluing and gluing. You don't have to worry about the center. As long as you keep these the same um, height right here, if they're about even, then your center will end up circular and it'll come all the way around. So that one's a simple just glue right where it naturally comes together and just keep doing it all the way around until you get this shape. Uh, so now I want to show you the other option. So this is option one, so if you like it this way, go ahead and start gluing that. Um, but let me show you option two. So I'm just going to get that out of the way. And this time I'm actually going to glue, because uh, this way is my favorite. So option two is you're going to create this shape. So you need your two sides of your clothespins. They don't have to be pairs, they're all the same. So you just want to take these, and you want to make this shape. So you're going to glue actually the whole inside here and stick those together. And you're going to need all of them to be this way. So that's your first step. You're actually just going to stick them together like this and glue them. So that's what I'm going to do first. So I'm going to take my glue, I'm going to do a little bit all the way down, and I'm just going to stick that on there. Try to make them as even as you can. Seam height here. I'm a little off, which is fine, but just try to make them as even as you can. So about the same height here, about the same height here. And you're just going to do that for all of your pairs, at least for 30 of them to start. Sometimes you might need up to 35. It kind of depends on how tight it ends up. But you need at least 30 in all of the ones I've done. So that's where we're going to start. We're just going to glue these all together. Alright, so now if you have all of your things together, you can always make more later, um, but I like to just do them all at once. What you're going to do is actually really similar to the last one. There's going to be this natural point where when you pinch them together, they're just going to come together. It's actually going to be this strip again. So this part right here is where you're going to glue, and you're going to try to pinch them together so they make this shape. So, let me show you how to glue it. Just put a little strip here, and then put those together, and pinch them together, and you want this shape. Kind of is like a snowflake pattern. I like it. It's a little more intricate looking, so I like that about it. And again, don't worry too much about um, placing them before you glue it. You can if you want, just to double check, but as long as you get them about the same height here and you just glue this little piece and pinch them together they should come around make a circle in the middle and wrap around just right so let me show you another one you can go either direction it doesn't matter and you just pinch it together right where it just kinda naturally comes together so it's just gonna be this little strip here if you glue all the way up I mean you can it's just you're gonna see that glue especially if it's hot glue you're going to see it later. 
So you just really only need it on this little part right here, and that's where it, you can see that the pieces all come together. So just a little strip right along here, and then I just kind of place them against each other while they're on the table for easiness. You can pick it up if you want. And you just want to keep doing that all the way around. Alright, so I'm on my last couple, and I just want to make sure they fit in, so it'll fit in pretty good. I had to stretch it a little. If you do end up with a little bit extra, you can just take one of your one pieces and put that in there, if that fits in a little better. But I think I'm going to go ahead and put in the two, or you can leave a little tiny gap in the edge, and that's okay too. So it's up to you. I want to do that. I think I'm going to be able to squeeze in my last two and just kind of stretch it a tiny bit. So on the last one, I'm going to put a glue on one side and the other side and squeeze it in there. So that's my messiest one, but I'm just kind of closing that in and I didn't worry about the circle and it just ended up really circular. So I had a few extra, so I ended up with one, two, three, four extra. So I ended up using um, 31, and in the other one I believe I used 30. So as long as you have about 30, maybe up to 32, um, you should have enough for this one. So I'm just going to pull those strings out. So here's my finished trivet or pot holder. Um, so as you can see, it really is really pretty. You could add it as just a wall decoration if you wanted. I like how they turn out. If you wanted to add like a mirror here in the middle, that could be really fun for a wall decoration. Um, it's up to you. So this is the method two. So if you like this way better, you could do it this way. If you liked it the way where they were just all facing the same direction, you could do it that way. Um, or you could do both. It's up to you for this one. Uh, so this one's my favorite, so this is the one I decided to end up with. Alright, thank you guys for coming. I hope you had fun with this one. Um, if you made it, post it in the comments for me so I can see. I like this one because it's a nice practical one, but it's also really fun and really simple. Uh, if you do want to paint it, this would be the time you could paint it before or you could paint it after. So if you finish it, you could paint it right now. Um, let me know how yours turned out. Thanks for coming.